Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I hope you are all doing well. Uh, last few weeks I was a bit busy, so I couldn't create new tutorials. So today I'm going to create a new tutorial on OpenVPN. So what is OpenVPN? OpenVPN is a virtual private network and OpenVPN is an open source VPN provider. So in this tutorial, we will install OpenVPN in an Amazon EC2 instance and then continue the configuration setup, create a user and connect with OpenVPN client in my local PC. Okay, what's the use of using OpenVPN? So the use of OpenVPN is uh, if you are in a virtual private network, then uh, using OpenVPN connecting uh, with your Windows client, you can directly connect with your private instances. So usually if you have public instances, you can get public IP, but private instances, you don't have any public IP. For private instances, you can use, you can connect it if they are on the same VPC with the OpenVPN. Okay, so let's get started. First, I go to EC2. I will use uh, AMI that is actually provided by OpenVPN. So uh, this is free trial and uh, you can use that. Let's launch instance. You go to AWS Marketplace and search for OpenVPN. There it is. So this is a uh, free two user. You can you create two users here. It's free. If you need more, you just need, you need to create a license from OpenVPN.net. So I create this and then I'm going to uh, choose the instance type. That's the most important thing. I will be staying on free tier. So let's choose T2 micro. Okay, so here I have, uh, uh, I, I need to uh, use the VPC that's, uh, that has a private subnet. So I am choosing that part. So here I have a private and a public. I need to use public subnet because I need to connect to that. And then using that public subnet as they are in the same VPC, they can connect to the private instances as well. Okay. So, uh, access. I'm just using an EC2 SSM role so that I can connect using systems manager. Okay, that's that, let's create storage. Add tags, security group, I will keep it as it is, that it is provided by the AMI. So review and launch. I have this key here, so let's launch it. It will take some time to launch this uh, instance. So let's pause for a minute. Okay, I am back. So let's uh, check the instance status is running. That's great. Okay. Uh, I will uh, give it a name. Uh, let's say sorry, VPN server. Then I'm going to uh, instead state, stop the instance. I will assign an elastic IP. Okay, here's my elastic IP. Look at an elastic IP address. Okay. So this is my elastic IP, and then I'm going to associate this elastic IP with that instance. Associate. Okay, I need to. Uh, turn on that instance, so let's turn it on. Okay, stopped. 
Let's try again one more time. Let's see if we can associate this. Okay. So I have uh, set up the Elastic IP. Then I'm going to start it. The process is simple. Without Elastic IP, your IP will, your VPN server IP will be changing every time you turn on and turn off. That's a bit annoying. To avoid this, I use an Elastic IP address. So it will uh, start in a minute. Then what we are going to do is to connect to that instance using Systems Manager. And from there, we will create a user to log into that uh, VPN or OpenVPN. It is running now. Let's go to Systems Manager, which is uh, here. From Systems Manager, I'm going to then connect to that instance. Session Manager. start session. And okay, let me check the instance profile, which is, I think this is, there is the instance profile. I need to uh, assign the SSM. Looks like it's okay. Okay. So let's connect to this. I think sometimes it takes time to start the instance. That's why this error message is shown. Okay, it's not connected yet. Uh -huh. Let me pause the video one for a minute. Okay, I have now connected to that instance using uh, session manager. So at this moment, I see this uh, empty screen. So uh, let's press enter. Uh, so do I. I'm going to take the root privilege. Okay. Here it is the options that are coming. It is like uh, terms and conditions, which I need to obviously agree by typing yes. Then, uh, will this be the primary access node? Yes, this is the primary access node. Please specify the network interface and IP address to be used by the admin by DY. Uh, Default is one. Let's please specify the port. Port is 943. That's fine. Please specify the TCP port number. That is 443. Should client traffic be routed by default through the VPN? Please enter no. That's no. Should client DNS be routed by default through the VPN? Let's keep it as the default. Use local authentication by internal DB. Okay. Should private subnets be accessible by clients by default? Yes, that's true. Do you wish to log into the admin UI as OpenVPN? Yes. So I'm creating a an user, OpenVPN. Okay, then please activate, specify. I don't have any license key, so let's keep it blank. By default, you will, you will be able to create two users. So uh, this is to the server, then I'm going to change the password. Uh, 
password is is uh, wd uh, open vpn this is the user i'm setting a password here I just use a strong password generator to generate the passwords. Paste the value. Paste the value. So I have created the user and changed his password. Now I'm going to log in to the OpenVPN. So I'm going to open this link. At first it will give me a warning, that's fine. I'm going to give a an user open VPN password. Okay, I have logged in here. I agree. So that means I, I have successfully logged into the OpenVPN admin panel. This is the admin panel. So here I go to VPN settings. Network address. So the uh, subnet that I'm going to use, I need to choose this, but also the net mark. Net mask bits uh, and then uh, routing. I will keep the yes net. Should client inter be routed through VPN? No. Should client be allowed to access? Yes. Okay. DNS settings. I don't want to change the DNS settings. That's fine. Okay. Save settings. <coughs> that is fine. Then I'm going to create a new user. User management. User permissions. Let's say create a user. Uh, I think go to settings, set a password. Just, just a simple password. Let me test. Let's keep it as it is. Okay. I will leave everything as default. Settings. Okay. Click update running servers. Okay. So I have created the user. Now, if I remove this part and then just browse the IP address with port 493, then this will give me an option to download the client. So I just log into that user, password, sign in, and then I can see I can download the OpenVPN client. I already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it. Then I can just download the profile here. Okay. So this is a profile, simple file, dot OVPN. Then I have already installed the OpenVPN client. If you haven't installed it, then you can just download this part. This is a, I think, 100 mega file. I already done this. So if I just search OpenVPN, then here it is. This is my OpenVPN. Then I just need to click this plus icon. So file, I'm going to import this profile. Browse. As you can see, it has picked up everything here. Save passwords, I give the passwords, and, and my user is added to as a profile. Then I'm going to connect here. That's it, I'm now connected. 
So uh, this is really simple. You can uh, connect to your uh, <coughs> private instances now using VPN. So if I have a private instance, then I can ping them with a private IP. So that being said, uh, this is this tutorial for today. I hope it helps you to get started with uh, VPN, setting up VPN on your AWS EC2 instances. You can easily set up this open VPN and uh, connect with your private instances without exposing a security risks. That's it for today. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.